This is a uh, two-year-old uh, child who is a case of uh, spastic quadriplegia with CP with global developmental delay. We have planned for autologous bone marrow cell transplantation and it has got three parts. Step one is to retrieval of the bone marrow from the posterior iliac crest which we are going to start. Then we will process it uh, through uh, with the use of BMEC technique and then we will inject it into the CSF intrathecal transplantation. So step one we are going to start with the bone marrow retrieval over the posterior iliac crest just beneath the posterior superior iliac spine we will make a small neck entry point with the 11 number blade okay then this is a jamshedi needle we are injecting it from the posterior side okay and resting it over the posterior iliac crest and slowly rotating and pushing it and tero inferiorly and a bit medially. Now it is inside the bone. Better purchase. Okay. This is special syringe with the locking mechanism. You see, bone marrow has started coming out, although slowly. You see the bone marrow is coming out, it is being sucked. We have to change the, its angle so that you get bone marrow from all the directions. About 15 ml is already collected. This is a, a vacuolox syringe uh, which is made by uh, some patented technique from uh, BMAC. And, uh, we need not to pull it all the time and it collects the bone marrow very easily. Since the child is small, we will take out only 30 to 35 ml of the bone marrow and that is enough for us. Okay, now we will process it. So thus, we have collected the bone marrow from the posterior iliac crest. Step 1 is over. Now, we will put it into a special processing uh, bulb okay and that would be centrifuge so this bone marrow we are transferring into the BMAC bulb which is called processing cup there is a filter for RBCs okay now we will put it into the centrifuge machine now it is going to take 14 minutes for complete processing and in this process the rbc's would be filtered out fat globules would be filtered out and you will get three layers the top one of plasma top one of plasma then middle one of the mononuclear cells that is a buffy coat and the downmost would be platelet concentrate. So now the processing is completed we are going to open it you see you have to take it out you have to take it out very gently so that you don't mix the layers with the jerk okay. We will clean it first, okay, so that if there are any dust particles that can be removed. Now you pay attention to it that there are three layers. Upper one is the uh, whitish layer, this one liquid that is plasma. Then middle one is the white buffy coat that is the uh, layer of the mononuclear cells and the downmost darkest layer this one is the growth factors and platelet rich plasma so now i will first of all suck only the cells and the uh, growth factors to be injected intrathecally so that it can give some tissue regeneration in the 
nervous system. So, we are sucking out the plasma to a great extent. You see, you can see that plasma is being sucked out. We are leaving some plasma so that some liquidity remains there. And uh, now I will take out. the buffy coat and the you see that I have just entered into this white layer and I am trying to suck it out because it is the main thing which is going to give regeneration. So, since the child is small I am going to inject only 1.5 ml. So, this concentrate is now there this is basically growth factors platelets and the mononuclear cells present ok this would be injected intrathecally. The remaining content is also useful. So, uh, this will mix repeatedly and use it intravenously so that it can give overall recovery in the body because it contains a lot of growth factors and the uh, cells. So, this is for IV use and this is for interthecal use ok. Now, you can see that I am injecting mononuclear cells interthecally into the CSF. So, this way you have seen uh, that uh, we have done autologous mononuclear cell transplantation in this case of cerebral palsy. Uh, which is uh, not improving for the last two years because child has uh, child is of the age of two years and still even cannot take the side turns, cannot speak, cannot understand. Okay, so uh, there is a global developmental delay with spastic quadriplegia, and for such intractable problems, we are offering uh, as the ray of hope for such uh, patients. And uh, we have uh, given substantial results in such cases in our uh, series done in last couple of years.